Gilani will face Chaudhry Ilyas Meherban of the Sunni Ittehad Council in a one-on-one -on -one Senate contest. Gilani, now an MNA, is speculated to become the next Senate chairman based on a power-sharing agreement between People's Party and Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. Legal experts argue that a sitting member's parliamentary seat automatically becomes vacant upon election to another assembly. Under Article 223 of the Constitution, seats become vacant when a member holds two concurrently. Sayyid Yusuf Reza Gilani, a prominent leader of the Pakistan People's Party, has submitted his nomination papers for the Senate election. He aims to reclaim his seat from Islamabad, which became vacant after his victory in the February 8 general elections as a member of the National Assembly. Gilani will face Chaudhry Ilyas Meherban of the Sunni Ittehad Council in a one-on-one -on -one Senate contest scheduled for March 14. The Election Commission of Pakistan saw a total of 19 candidates from various political parties filing papers for five other vacant Senate seats in Balochistan and Sindh. Under Article 223 of the Constitution, seats become vacant when a member holds two concurrently. Gilani, now an MNA, is speculated to become the next Senate chairman based on a power-sharing agreement between People's Party and Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. While not officially confirmed, the absence of any PMLN candidate against Gilani adds weight to these reports. Chaudhry Ilyas Mehrban, an old PTI member, had previously contested for the NA seat in 2030. Interestingly, two individuals from PPP, Nisar Koro and Jam Mehtab Deher, who were already elected in the Sindh Assembly, attended the Senate session in violation of constitutional provisions. Questions arise regarding the status of the Senate Chairman Sadiq Sanjrani's office, as it has not been declared vacant after his election to the Balochistan Assembly. Legal experts argue that a sitting member's parliamentary seat automatically becomes vacant upon election to another assembly. In Karachi, seven candidates, including Wakar Mehdi, submitted papers for the Senate election on two general seats. Twelve candidates from various parties filed nominations for the three vacant Senate seats in Balochistan. With the merger of the erstwhile tribal areas with Khyber Bakhtunkhwa, only 96 members will grace the chamber this time. The Senate, with a total strength of 100, will see half of its members retiring on March 11 after completing a six-year term. Following by-elections on March 14, the ECP will issue the schedule for the election of 48 new senators, including 11 each from the four provinces, and two minority members from Punjab and Sindh.